Hello, welcome to another episode of Ken Fashion Journey. Today, our topic, we will talk about the leather jacket and especially with reference to which are the iconic movies and movie stars which have really glorified the leather biker jacket and also the regular leather blues on. Now, I also would like to take an opportunity to share with one of our viewers whereby he had an inquiry on what are the bottoms to wear with the leather biker jacket and also what are the tops to use. Now, it all started back in 1953 whereby the iconic movie is called The Wild One and the actor is no other than Mr. Marlon Brando. Mr. Marlon Brando is wearing this particular leather biker's jacket which is made from short USA in uh, New York City whereby I already highlighted it in the P code from the previous episode regarding this brand and this company called Short New York City. So as you can see, Marlon Brando, he is spotted in this movie, The Wild One, which is an iconic biker's movie. He wear and he worn the leather biker jacket in a very immaculate and a smashing style. I guess nobody will look better in the biker's jacket than Marlon Brando. And as what it is, he is wearing a round t-shirt with it or you can also wear it with a, a v-neck a tank top and coupled with a pair of a, a button fly jeans I think it's from Levi's and then he roll it up like this to highlight the salvage and of course with a pair of a, a leather boots further to it you can also see that Marlon Brando also he put on a turtleneck so you can actually wear a white turtleneck or preferably I think the best color would be a charcoal gray turtleneck or even a navy blue or a black turtleneck to go with it and it will look smashing now the next iconic movie whereby I'm touching about is of course the 1955 James Dean power pack movie which is called Rebel Without a Cause in the Rebel Without a Cause you can see that James Dean he is spotted again with a pair of a uh, wash and rinse denim roll up also like this the cup and then also it spots a salvage in it and he matches it up with a light shade denim shirt or you can also wear it with a uh, chambray shirt to go with it it is really cool and then in 1963 they made a movie called the great escape this movie is set in world war ii in a in a prison in a prisoner of war camp and then they have mr steve mcqueen where he wore a uh, flight jacket so this time around they popularized the flight bomber jacket in leather and then at the same time you can see and you can spot mr steve mcqueen in a cremerton cloth pair of pants which is this type of Cremerton cloth pants because as you know Cremerton is the type of cloth the khaki drill pants they use it to make army uniforms that's why you can spot Mr. Steve McQueen starring in the show whereby he took the motorbike and then he escaped from the prison and actually he took the motorbike and he flew over the, the fence and it was really a great scene and at the same time he wore a denim shirt together with it because that is a time whereby we talk about American soldiers they are, they are basically whatever they wear inside is a chambray shirt or a denim shirt and then of course with their army pants which is made of Cremerton cloth in 1969 also came another iconic movie which highlighted the Harley Davidson Fly FL Hydra motorbike whereby it is called, the movie is called The Easy Rider and it star Peter Fonda. And as you know, this movie is in 1969, so it was set in the backdrop of the Vietnam War and also the children of flower, or you so-called the flower power. That's why you can spot Peter Fonda. He is using a bandana 
throughout the movie on his uh, leather jacket and also he is spotted with the uh, pattern and especially the floral shirt because that is the time whereby you talk about the flower power movement which is a protest against the uh, Vietnam War and this is really an iconic movie especially the Harley Davidson FL Hydra it's really made an impact and when it comes to the sunglass of course the sunglass which is worn by Peter Fonda is from Ray-Ban and the fifth iconic movie I like to highlight will be Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis in Top Gun because this is the show whereby Tom Cruise as you know it doesn't need any introduction about the movie Top Gun you can spot Tom Cruise with an Avirax leather flight jacket and then he is riding his Kawasaki Ninja and also I like to share is that the good pants a good back bottom to wall for when you ride a bike is always a pair of a uh, dark color pants especially like this like dark color denim now this the denim it comes in a mixture of 98% cotton and 2% elastic because when you sit down you'll be more comfortable and then it is stretchable for the uh, black color denim and also for the blue denim because nowadays it's best to go for those denim whereby it is 98% cotton and 2% elasticine because then it will give you the stretch especially when you ride during long hours on or on a long trip three there's two movies whereby i would like to say is an honorable mention whereby you talk about a indiana jones because indiana jones is always famous for his fedora which is made by stetson and also his brown color mocha color leather blouse on and especially in Raiders of the uh, lost art you know where you can spot that a uh, Indiana Jones is a uh, riding on a sidecar together with Sean Connery and also the more recent one will be in 2008 they had this show called the Sons of Anarchy because the Sons of Anarchy starring Charlie Hunnam he is wearing the leather vest and also riding bike as he is part of the bikers gang and it is really an amazing and smashing movie looking into the life and times of a bikers gang and I believe Charlie Hunnam really shown that he inherited the true spirit of a biker and also the choice of jeans he wore is a very loose style of jeans whereby it is an oversized jeans and he strapped it up well I hope that you like this episode of Ken Fashion Journey. Do give, do smash the like button and do subscribe. And I look forward to see you in the next episode. Bye.